Yo! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Looking at the current third years, I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me. Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously all the graduates are leaving. Rijo Senpai's getting ready to move too. Rijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there, are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yucatan. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's gonna bother me. Well, uh, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Oh, crap! Yo. Dude, I heard the juiciest news just now. You wanna hear it? Of course you do. Okay, here goes. This is just between you and me, okay? Get this, so next month, I heard we have three fine looking teachers coming in. After Emmy, uh, Miss Kano leaves, the faculty roster kinda loses its spark, you know? Miss Toriyumi has that weird secret, Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine, and Miss Terauchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on, even our school nurse is a guy. Sure, guy nurses are out there, but we could do better than him. He's got some kind of anti-hooky agenda. Speak of the devil, you don't look so good. You need to go see that devil nurse? If that's the case, sorry dude, but you're on your own. I refuse to set foot in that so-called nurse's office. Oh, oh, and those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Wanna come? 
Excellent choice, oh wise one. We got electives to choose next year, right? So we've got to make sure we choose the right one, if you catch my drift. Hmm? Wait a minute, wasn't today... Oh, crap! Sorry, man, I gotta split before she gets here. Ah, my little sis. She'll be coming here starting next month, so she's gonna swing by today and look around. I'm not gonna be her damn tour guide. I don't want to be seen leading her around by the hand everywhere. <sighs> I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, anyway, I'm gonna jet. Later. I was just thinking about you. Uh... Mm, can we go somewhere else? <sighs> Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but I appreciate it. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. <laughs> I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that... I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet, but I do want to see her, I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. <laughs> you don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. And with you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um, you don't think I'm relying on you too much, do you? I knew you'd say that. But still, this isn't a one-way street. Let me know whenever you need help too, okay? You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow, it's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the near future, then. I told you to think about where you want to go, remember? I still think the best place to start is Destiny Land. It's just a day trip, so that makes planning easy. And it's perfect for bigger groups, too. Oh, but if we decide on the mountains, we should stay the night. If we're gonna travel far, might as well make the most of it. <laughs> I'm getting excited just thinking about it. And with you, it'll be fun no matter where we go. Oh, crap! I totally forgot to turn in today's assignment. I'd better go do that now. Let's talk about this again soon. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? To, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. Wait, really? Uh, nah, maybe you shouldn't. I'm actually planning on going to the public library. Because, like, there weren't any books about sports physiology and stuff at the school library. I'm gonna head out first to get some studying done, okay? I mean, if I had a friend there, we'd totally end up chatting the whole time instead of studying. Hmm, but since we've already bumped into each other, want to chat for a little longer? At least until we reach the entrance. Well, I'm 
gonna head off. Yep, I've been doing it every day. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Hey, remember what I told you before? About finally finding my dream? I never had anything to work towards until now, so... I'll admit, I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. Like, I have no idea what chemistry and all that stuff is about. Seriously, it's like a foreign language. So that's why I really gotta buck up. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I really just want to sit back and enjoy life. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I'm gonna take my dreams into my own hands. And then I'm gonna do some more studying and then get a job. But after that, we should totally hang out again. <laughs> we can invite everyone from the track team too. Ooh, how about we have a drinking party, since we'll all be adults by then? Um, well, anyway, I'll be focusing only on my studies for now, so don't try to tempt me with anything. Today, I'm gonna work on three subjects at once. Impressive, right? Whoops, I better get going. I still need to buy dinner. We'll see ya. Good timing, man. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I went back to the hospital to get a checkup on my knee. The results are in. <laughs> it's 100% healed. They said I can run all I want now. Dude, I was so happy. I almost broke the doctor's back. I hugged him so hard. But thinking about it now, how would things have gone if I'd kept running through the pain? I was pushing too hard, only thinking about myself. I got pissed off when things didn't go my way. So I threw out the advice I got, and shot my knee to hell. Man, I was such a moron. At least I can see it now. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but in the end, it was just about my own damn pride. I got you, everyone on the team, and my parents all worried about me. I didn't even stop to notice. I was a real selfish brat. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, it took me this long, but at least I finally snapped out of it. Thanks, man. It's because of you I'm standing here on two feet. I swear, things will be different from here on out. I want to repay you all for what you've done for me. No more stubborn pride. I'm gonna listen to what others have to say. Even when it's not what I want to hear. Well, that's about it. I just wanted you to be the one I break the news to first. I'll run around to the faculty office and club room later to let everyone else know. Have a good one. Oh, it's you. You don't look so good. Is the weather getting to you? It's been getting warmer. It's already March. Hmm. There's something I wanted to tell you. Well, we're in the same grade, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to talk. Even so, I wanted to say this while we're both still on the student council. I'm going to quit. Well, this semester is just about wrapping up. All this means is I'm not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? I see. Well, I feel differently. You're an optimistic man, so maybe society looks different through your eyes. Up until January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. I was thinking how we could change that, and what it would take to change society. My answer to that used to be reform by those in power. I thought that was the only way. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do so creates more problems. That's what the cigarette incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. And it helped me arrive at a different answer. I think the best thing for society is Education. Every last individual that makes up our society should have a right to education of heart and mind. I really believe that's what we need the most. And so, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. A society is shaped by its people. Every person I help grow helps society grow by extension. You're not going to laugh and tell me I'm dreaming? I 
see. Well, I plan to do my best. <laughs> That's all I wanted to tell you. That, and to say thanks. This was all because of you. So, thank you. Oh, I was just looking for you. This came for you. It's from Hayase. I bet his school is sorry he's gone. Oof, he was a heck of an athlete. But it's good news for us. Now there's nothing standing between us and total victory. Well, I'll see you around. How's it going? I don't know your address, so I'm sending this to the school. I'm doing good. I'm starting to get used to the job, too. The real reason I'm writing is because of track. Before, I'd pretty much given up hope of ever continuing. Except there was a part of me that refused to let it go. I don't care what it sounds like. Track and field was my whole life. I guess the factory manager realized what's up and he wants to help me out. We're gonna make a track team here. Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work and sometimes on our days off. The other day we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We've even climbed Mount Hie. We don't have fancy equipment like before, so we're not as efficient. But I'm still having a blast. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, so I don't really get to do any serious training. But I guess it'll even the playing field for them. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just gonna keep getting better and better. It's weird how badly I want to see you improve. Look, one day, you and I are gonna go at it again. And if I'm gonna be a good rival, then I've got a lot of work to do. It feels nice having a goal to work toward. Almost forgot what it was like. Oh yeah, and my mom's getting better. She's in a long-term care facility with lots of fresh air. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my siblings are in good hands, too. Things have been pretty great these days. I feel like I can take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. And I get to feel that way because of you. So, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. Andre Laurent Andre Laurent Jean Guerrero. Oh, oh, too long. A samurai's name should be simple and short. Oh, you this letter was sent to the school. It looks like it's addressed to one of our students. Wait, is this actually for you? The writing's so shaky, I didn't recognize your name. It's from an Andre... something. I don't recall a student with such a foreign name. The only one that comes to mind is... Bebe. Hello. It is me, Bebe. in your language is difficult, so forgive me if it is hard to read. I learned a lot in Japan, but I still need lots of help. I write this with a dictionary. I showed uncle the kimono. He said many wonderful things about it. He said Japan is a great country. I was thrilled to hear it. So, I tell Uncle that I want to go back to Japan. I tell him over and over, 
Finally, he says, okay. But I decided not to go back. I am sorry. I said I would come back, but it was a lie. I didn't know. My aunt was not the only one who helped me study abroad. Uncle, relatives, neighbors, so many people helped me. They all wanted me to go back. They said they would help pay for it. But Uncle is sad after he lost my aunt. While Uncle grieves, I would not be able to enjoy myself in Japan. I cannot take everyone's money for my own fun. Besides, I can learn about Japan here in France too. And so, in France, I will stay. Someday, I will return to Japan on my own, without anyone's help. I reflected on how fun it was to make clothes with you. So, I enrolled in fashion school. I made some clothes for the school contest. And I won first prize. I have come up with a name for my winning design. A very wonderful name, I think. It is a name that means a lot to me. Japan and France, you and me, all so far apart. But I am always here for you. No amount of distance will ever change that. Every day was so much fun. More fun than I have ever had. I hope I get to see you again someday. To my precious friend, Bebe. Are you okay? You don't look so good. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. Right now, I... um... Oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. Hmm. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. Look at this flyer over here. The dark history of student-teacher romance? <sighs> People are free to fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be alright on my own. I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. It's not much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. Hmm. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. 
I want to become strong and reliable, just like the student council president. That's why I want to join the student council next year, and the year after that, too. It's a big goal, but I'm going to take it one step at a time. Well then, I should be going. I'm looking forward to seeing you next year, too. You've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait, they were real, right? They had to be. Ah, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. A uh, destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Uh, maybe you should go to the nurse's. Uh, wait, you dropped something. What? Huh? This phone wallpaper... Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. Love you. My! What a charming confession of love. Did you make this? I, uh, I have absolutely no clue what this kid is talking about. La, 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 I can't hear you. I can't hear you. G Never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh. oh, don't, don't tell me you got it online. The only ones who were on that server were... It couldn't be. There's no way. Are you kidding? No, no, no! Calm down, Mr. Yumi. Help! Someone call a doctor! Don't tell me. You're Tatsuya? I. Uh, I said all that to you? I... 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 Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. oh, no! This can't be happening! I quit this school! I'm leaving! I'm never coming back! Oh, I can't live with this! Just kill me now! <laughs> um, I... I'm... <laughs> Maya! 
I'm Maya. It's me, damn it. You got a problem with that? <sighs> Why don't you say something? Jeez, idiot. <sighs> this is so embarrassing. <sighs> but there was one thing I wanted to say. If we ever met face to face. I... I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> uh, wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you with my fists. Anyway, um... If you don't mind... If you don't... Mind... Uh, m maybe we could have dinner? <laughs> Go to hell with this! Ah, are you okay? You don't look well. I hope it's not anemia. Should we get you to the nurse's office? Though, actually, that might be a bit hard for me. I guess I'll just tell you. So, I took the exam for the medical school I was hoping to go to, and I failed. I guess this is my first real failure in life. <laughs> so, starting in the spring, I'll be a student in training. Off to keep studying hard every day. I don't think I did badly, but exams tend to have a luck factor to them, too. Hmm. The old me would have just given up. I don't exactly have the strongest willpower. But now, it's a different story. I want to be a doctor and save as many lives as I can. I want to protect the people I love. There are a lot of different ways I can accomplish that. And the way I want to do it is through the power of healing. So from now on, I won't lose focus. Next year, I'm going to try again, and I'll pass with flying colors. Thank you. I think it was because of your help that I've changed so much. I'll be graduating a year earlier than you, but I won't forget about you. Sup, dude? Wanna grab a bite at Hagakure? I haven't had their special in a while. Wait, hold up! I ain't made out of money. I'm just a poor, broke high school kid here. Come on, man. We're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything. Right? Yeah, I guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Well, anyways, you hear me out for a bit? I got called into Miss Toriyumi's office again. She asked me what I was planning to do after April. Dude, like I know. And I was trying to play it off, but then she got all worked up and gave me one hell of a lecture. It's just me? Or she gotten way more serious than before? Tomochika was saying that you can't even bribe her with cake anymore. Oh, hey, did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting major secondhand embarrassment. Well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special sum... Huh? Uh, I did have a special someone, right? Uh, I, I'm not making this up or anything. I'm gonna tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that that there was someone special in my life. Have I forgotten something important? Something I never should have forgotten? Uh, sorry, man. I think I'll pass on the ramen, actually. Oh, are you going home? You look a bit pale. Are you doing all right? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Maybe you should rest in the nurse's office before you leave. I was actually about to head to the faculty office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? Sounds good. People often get sick when the seasons change, so maybe...
maybe you're coming down with something. Okay, let's head over to the faculty office together. Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Tech clubs? Are you referring to technician's gloves? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. And he's gone. Well, looks like I need to find five people now. Uh, would you like to join my tech club? Yes! I'm so happy to hear that! I was hoping you'd help me. You know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself. Yes, I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. But you and the team accepted me for who I am. That's why I decided to be strong and let everyone see my true self. So even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I don't want to hide it anymore. Now, I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd try starting a club all about it. Because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous though. But don't worry, I'll still keep going to art club. It'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. Anyways, I've got to find some club members. Hmm, do I need to make recruitment posters and stuff? Yes, thank you. To be honest, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. We're going to be third year soon, and that means everyone will have to start thinking about what they want to do after we graduate. In fact, Yuri-kun and Yukari-chan were talking about college entrance exams just the other day. But you know what? I think I'll be okay. I have everyone here to support me, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, everyone? I keep saying it. But who am I talking about? I'm um, sorry. Don't mind me. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. I hope the stores are still open. Let's see, I need paper. Oh, and I need to find a club room too. I think this might be more work than I thought. Sorry, I need to get going. I'll see you later. What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. Hmm. If you don't mind, could we go somewhere for a little chat? I have some business to take care of later on. But I'd like to talk with you until then. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. This room feels so nostalgic. Even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. <sighs> The results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together.
<laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos. Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast, especially the year that you came. It's hard to believe I've begun to feel like an ordinary high school student. I never knew I had these emotions, just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to this school, if I hadn't met you. I might never have realized what was truly important to me, or what I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind. Fate is a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group as well as my own. Even if I lose my way again someday, it doesn't matter. I know things will work out. I won't have to face it alone. You're the one who taught me that. All right, it's almost time. I must be on my way. Perhaps we could find some time to relax together on a weekend. I found a nice cleft shop that I'd like to try. It's a bit far, though. You'd better get your motorcycle license soon. Just imagine hitting the road on our motorcycles together. I look forward to it. Well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Quite rare for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? I guess it's because I usually go straight to practice after class. But today, I felt like looking around the school before heading over. After all, this is my last day here. The days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. <laughs> I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. Hmm. Was there really nothing else? It, never mind. It's nothing. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes he can be just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> oh, speaking of forgetfulness, do you remember someone named Aragaki-san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much. Whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest, and unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important. Though, I'm not sure what. I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, sorry about that. You were really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You even went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, 
Thanks for everything. Welcome. Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here trying to reach you. Seems like he was wondering how you were doing. Come to think of it, I think he left a message for you. What was it he said again? Hey, hey, don't give me that look. Just hang on a sec. Ah, found it. Here you go. I actually wrote it all down. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Let's see. Oh, man, the handwriting is awful. <laughs> who the hell wrote this? Found my wife and son. My son's still a good-for-nothing punk, and my wife is frigid as usual. She's like an old witch. What do you want? I'm on the phone! Hey, don't write this down, right? Lots happened, but I apologized a thousand times, and I worked to make things right. I guess you could say we fell in love all over again. I realized. Instead of holding on to my pride, I needed to just suck it up and apologize. And it's all thanks to you. Well, you take care, kid. If it's meant to be, we'll see each other again. That's the gist of it. I'm pretty sure I got everything he said. Oh, and don't bother asking for a number. He didn't say. But like he said, you'll see him again if it's meant to be. Don't they say, like, fate lies in God's hands or something? Oh, wait, that'd be Buddha for the monk, huh? Anyways, that's that. If fate does bring you two back together, why don't you come party over here again?
Ah, it's you, right? I'm... Maiko's father, if you remember. Do you have a minute to talk? I've been dwelling a little on what happened. Perfect. Uh, if you don't mind, let's take a walk down to the takoyaki stand. I'll buy you some. My treat. The food there sure is good. But you knew that already, didn't you? When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She's a good girl. Wouldn't you agree? She's so good that I wonder if she's really my own child sometimes. She actually sent me a letter recently. It's chock full of details about her new life. She said she's made a lot of friends. Let's see. She's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and has had to get up early to clean the cages. They scolded her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy her friends. I guess she can be a bit absent-minded. I never knew that about her. Oh, and she did so well on her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she went on to talk about how she plays at the park by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well, too. They're having a lot of fun together. <sighs> having fun. Must be nice. Nowadays, I just come home to an empty house. The rooms feel so big without those two around. I wonder if she feels the same way, living in a home with no father in it. Uh, we put her through so much because of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. By the way, I've actually got a bone to pick with you, too. Maiko must have really liked you, huh? She wrote all about it. I can't wait to grow up. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. What the hell is that about you, little punk? Y you were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it. And I'm not letting a guy like you touch my daughter with a ten-foot pole. I'll never let you marry her. And don't you forget it! He had a hand in the hidden menu at Hagakure as well. Oh, yes. I've heard the same story. They say he tried a bite of some dish. Then he said it could use some fish flakes. So they put some in, and sure enough, it was delicious. Now it's an item on our hidden menu. I'm a big fan of it myself. I had him come up with some ideas for Wokatsu, too. Yes, he's the one. Sui Mitsu can put our coffee on the map, too. Sure, his appearance and behavior are, how should I say this, eccentric? But he knows everything about food, and his palate is refined. He's in a league of his own among gourmands. There is not a restaurateur around here who doesn't know him. Is he that famous? So when you heard he was planning to leave to tour the country... I was shocked and disappointed, of course. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well for himself. I hear he's got a book coming out. It's very exciting. Even when he's far away, I can still feel him. Uh, wait, don't run that. Are the rumors about a King Suimitsu statue being built in this shopping district true? <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait. I'll be rubbing it every day for good luck. Oh, are you a student from the area? Do you mind if we get a few words from you? Are you familiar with the high school student known as the Gourmet King? Oh, your uniform. So he went to Gekokan High then. Thanks for your time. 
I'd love a chance to meet him myself one day. Well, well, look who it is. It's been a while. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Now, now, dear. They don't grow that fast. What must have happened is that we shrank. Isn't that right? Oh, 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 is that how it is? Looks like you got one over on me. Say, you, you know our old shop here, uh, Bookworms? I'm thinking it's due for a makeover. Something fresh, avant-garde. I can't let Gekukan's new school building hog the spotlight. Oh, you think so? <laughs> I suppose that's just as well. I'm honored you like the place, young man. Speaking of the new school building, they've decided to replant the persimmon tree. It'll be moved to a special location on a hill overlooking the whole campus. Our dear boy will be able to watch over those students for many more years to come. I know the tree isn't actually our son, and yet, this makes me feel so happy. Ever since my dear heard the news, she's turned into a leaky faucet. Come on, give me a smile. Go, 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 go. Please, dear. I think your dentures are falling out. Anyhow, we'll be supporting the GeckoCon students with renewed strength in our hearts. Looking at you again, you really did grow, didn't you? You've overcome great hardships, I can tell. Come back and visit us any time. We'd always love to see you. Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, would you like to stay and talk for a while? That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today is a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another one of God's whims. Today is my son's... Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It was too soon. He was almost an adult. But he never made it. Akinari had a genetic disease. I'm completely healthy. But him... The doctors detected it when he was born. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day, I worried whether he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad that I was born into this world. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you for the life you've given me. He... He suffered so much, and yet he still said that to me. But... Akinari brought me so much happiness, too. 
feeling his warmth as I carried him in my arms after he was born. Those tiny hands. <laughs> that first smile. Hearing his breathing as he slept at night. Every day, I was so grateful he was alive. <laughs> Every day, I found new joy in him. Now, I'm so alone. And there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much. I have to keep going, looking straight ahead. That's how I want to live. I'll eat the finest foods, visit the most exotic places. I'll do everything, absolutely everything that Akinari couldn't. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done on that day. When we meet again on the other side, if I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me, when my son's condition worsened, he started writing a children's story. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found his notebook. He said he wanted you to be the first one to see it when he was done. Then he laughed and said I would be second. <laughs> I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. What? So, did you get to read the story? So you did. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Oh, you should hold on to his notebook. I'm sure that's what he would want to. I'll hear the story from him directly when I see him on the other side. Now I have one more thing to look forward to. I'm glad I could finally meet you. Thank you. Before I go, let this old woman give you one piece of advice. Take good care of the ones you hold dear. If you wait until their day comes, it's too late. Clinging to their cold bodies won't bring them back. Everyone who's born will die someday, not just Akinari. Or me, or even you. It's all the same. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it. But if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles. The same heartbreak. We should all lift each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people too. Don't ever forget it.
Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets. And he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. W well I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV, Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone. Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round. Rain or shine, we have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution. Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds. And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. Oh, he, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there as we've just received a fax. It, it's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money. So what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers. So buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now or you'll miss your chance. You'll see, Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Does he have no shame? Duh, this Tanaka guy. Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be. Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in. We have reports that Amazing Commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. Sonata Senpai, Kirijo Senpai, and and that one student who passed away last year in an incident. Uh, Aragaki Senpai? 